Hi, my name is Tim Liebert, and I'm a doctoral researcher at the University of Pennsylvania, where I study health privacy on the web. I recently looked at 80,000 web pages related to health conditions, and I discovered that 9 in 10 pages expose user data to third parties. This is true on nonprofit, commercial, educational, as well as government run websites. When a user types in a URL into an address bar, oftentimes the name of a disease, symptom, or treatment is included. For example, the CDC webpage for HIV AIDS has the address cdc.gov slash HIV. Visiting this page sends user information to both Google and Add This, allowing these companies to see that users visiting the page have an interest in HIV. A user visiting a similar page on the WebMD website may have his or her information sent to 34 separate domains. This puts users at risk for two significant reasons. First, people's health interests may be publicly identified along with their names. This could happen because criminals get a hold of the information, it is accidentally leaked, or data brokers collect and sell the information. Second, marketers use algorithmic tools which automatically classify people to receive or get denied different types of offers. Such algorithms cluster people into groups with names like target and waste. Given that 62% of bankruptcies are the result of medical expenses, it is likely that those visiting medical websites may be grouped into the waste category and denied favorable offers. Most troubling of all, current U.S. law does little to forbid, control, or punish this type of data collection. It is perfectly legal to monitor what health websites an individual is visiting and sell that information to anybody who is willing to pay. However, this situation can be fixed. First, nonprofit, educational, and government websites should audit their code and remove anything which may be leaking user information. Second, lawmakers can draw up new regulations to make sure that bad behavior is identified and punished. Third, programmers working for advertisers can inspect their algorithms and make sure discriminatory behavior is not occurring by accident. In the meantime, if you'd like to protect your health information while browsing online, I recommend using the add-ons Ghostry and Adblock Plus.